Hi everyone, it's Mrs Hetherington here. Today we are going to learn about a different type of informative text and that's called an explanation. Explanations tell us how something works or why something occurs. Explanations can be in a written form or they can be in a diagram. Today you're going to draw a diagram that explains the water cycle using what you have learnt from a video. I'm going to demonstrate how to draw a diagram of a life cycle of a butterfly and hopefully this will help you when you go to draw your water cycle diagram. So the first thing you're going to need for your explanation diagram is a heading. So my heading is going to be the life cycle of a butterfly. The life cycle of a butterfly. And then you need to draw your first picture. So my first picture is going to be of some eggs. So my eggs are going to be on a big leaf. Here's my leaf. And then we have the little eggs on the leaf. And make sure when you're drawing your diagram that you're annotating it. So you're writing what your picture is of. So mine is of the eggs. Then I'm going to draw an arrow to my next picture. Here's my arrow. And my next picture is going to be of a caterpillar because once the eggs hatch, there's going to be a big caterpillar that comes out. So there's my leaf and I'm going to draw my caterpillar over there. That's my caterpillar. There we go, there he is, sitting on the leaf. All right, and I'm going to write caterpillar. There we go. Now I need to draw my next arrow. So I have my eggs, my eggs hatch into a caterpillar, and then my caterpillar goes into what's called a chrysalis. And a chrysalis is kind of like a cocoon another name for it. So I'm going to write chrysalis down here. There we go. And as you do yours, you might be able to add some beautiful colour into them as well. Now I have another arrow. So I have my eggs, my eggs hatch into my caterpillar. Then I have my chrysalis and then out of the chrysalis comes a beautiful butterfly. There we go. And I'm going to write butterfly under there. And then I need my last arrow to go back to my eggs because you'll see that the life cycle continues. So then the butterfly has some eggs again. And then the eggs hatch to the caterpillar, goes back to the chrysalis, back to the adult butterfly, and then it goes round and round and round. Now, I would like you to have a go at drawing your own diagram you're going to do it of the water cycle process. If you would like to upload your diagram into the English channel, I'd love to see it. Thanks everyone. Bye.